Dawson's Rentals. Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with another Small Power Rangers Lightning Collection video slash update. Just ahead of when we're supposed to be getting an official look, we actually got some leaked picks, uh, for sure confirming the, some of the picks for uh, Lightning Wave 3, which is pretty much all but confirmed. But we got some like leaked photos of them opening the Gorgonites at the toy shop. No, we got uh, Dino Charge Gold, Beast Morphers Blue, and then MMPR Red. The only one missing is Draken. We don't have a photo of that as of this recording. I mean, with my track record, we'll probably get a leaked pick after this hits upload. So that's probably what's going to happen. But we got a look at them. I think that they mostly look good. I think the sculpts for uh, Gold and... It sounded like I was going Stolks. Mariah Sculpts. Sculpts look good for Gold. For all of them, really. Uh, red, we'll get to that in a second. But Gold and Blue look good that way. Um, but I, they do have that, the necks need to be touched up, and these could be prototypes. So they're, they're, here's the thing, there's supposed to be some shows starting this weekend, like in Australia and the UK, I think. I don't know which one's first, but there's a couple shows internationally, not our conventions, but, uh, international conventions, that we're supposedly going to get a look at future lightning releases. Uh, presumably it will probably be just Wave 3, maybe Wave 4, I don't know, we don't know yet. Uh, but that's happening this weekend. Uh, so it's possible, like, that these are still in one of the prototype stages. And it's, po we don't, I don't know when these were taken. Uh, but it's possible that this was sometime a little bit before the show, and the ones we might see at the show will be more polished, uh, and have those few little details fixed. It's also possible that they won't be, and the prototypes will be the ones shown, these ones, and they won't have the next fixed or anything like that. Um, and then when we get the actual release, they will be fixed. So, like, there's not necessarily a reason to freak out if these, uh, ones are the ones we see at the show. Uh, but it's also possible these are the ones. Maybe they, it's not unheard of for any toy company to have little mistakes like that, or maybe they just didn't care about that? I don't know. Like, I'm prepared for anything. Like, there's a chance they won't fix the next for the official release. But I think there's at least a solid chance that these are just prototypes. Um, and I think that there's a, a very solid chance that the prototype versions are the one we could see at the show. Meaning, like I said, if we see this gold with the neck not fixed at the show this weekend, that doesn't necessarily mean the one that hits the shelves won't be fixed. Um, I'm eager to see Draken because that's probably the one I'm most excited about for this one. I hope that one looks good and like I want to see what head he comes with. Like I presume it'll just be like the, the sickly Tommy head. Like they might even just reuse a sculpt who knows and just kind of paint parts of it to be, you know, older evil Draken. The Red Ranger one, the helmet is still the same one from Armored Red, which is missing the paint here. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think they'll fix that one. Like, that could even lend credence to the theory that they might not fix any of this, but because we already did the exclusive Gold Ranger, or uh, yeah, Gold Ranger set release with the gold armor and the helmet was the same, I just don't see them fixing that. I'd love to be proven wrong and like they actually have the proper helmet when that comes out. Because even Bandai did that with the belts for MMPR when they made them wrong, even though they didn't re-release the ones later, like the next ones that released, they fixed it. So who knows, like I said, I'd love to be proven wrong in that aspect, but of all the things, like I could see the next being fixed for the releases, but since we've already had that figure as an exclusive with that head, I don't see them fixing it. I think we're going to get the same MMPR red helmet, which is kind of unfortunate because I think that's one of the weaker spots of the line was that helmet. It was, there was some decent parts to it, but it was one of the ones that was the most off, which kind of stinks. But yeah, that's the thing. So I just wanted to keep you updated on that. Like I said, the shows are happening, I believe, starting Friday or the show's starting Friday. And I will keep you updated on that. I'll do videos for that. Uh, or a video for that, you know, it depends on what happens. Like, there could be multiple different news bits, but you know what I mean. I'll keep you updated on it, show what they show. My hope is, I know we'll probably see the Wave 3 stuff, which we're seeing right now, but my hope is, I mean, it'd be cool to see Wave 4, but then we'll see, like, Wave 3 and maybe uh, one or two little surprises being, like, you know, retailer exclusives, like the Lost Galaxy set, uh, the Green Putty set. I think that would be kind of cool. So it's not just Wave 3. It's kind of like we all got amped up for Comic-Con, and then we saw Wave 2, which we've known about for 27 years. So, yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. But I will keep you guys updated this weekend. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and climb the steps, entering that bell, so you can get notifications for all my videos, and check out the shirt store in the comments. Until next time, Dawson Ryder, signing out.